girls will love that. In Lady Bird, you broke my heart, and in Little Women, I got to break your heart. Yes, that's true. As important to tell Little Women right now as it would be at any point in our lifetime, really. I've always found it very exciting to work with him because he kind of keeps me on my toes and I'm never quite sure like what he's going to do next. Because <laughs> these two characters as well, like physically they need to be very comfortable with one another. They like literally are like, you know, intertwined for half the film. So everyone inside, they don't sort of stick to the rules of the book. They break out of that. And so it was really nice to just physically see them do that, you know. He's the better dancer. But you're also like, you trained in ballet, didn't no, you? No, I did. My mom's a dance teacher. Yeah, he's a very good dancer. He's a gingerbread man. Oh, he goes. Why I need a holiday is because I've, I've, I've never had a holiday before. You're the only little girl in the house, are you? Um, yeah. Well, I've got news for you. To Florida. Oh, my God! <laughs> he is, though. You are, and actually, I meant to say Timothy. Mm -hmm. It's pronounced Timothy. It's whatever you'd like. <laughs> Doug Chalamet, Doug back Chalamet. in the building. <laughs> Does not work as well. <laughs> like, that's a different name. That, yeah, that's completely actually different. a similar woman's name. Um, they thought you were the famous actor Shelly. They thought I was the famous actor Shelly Ronan. Shelly Ronan? She's, yeah, she's an icon. From Lady um, no, I've had, like, Who has inspired you? What other actors have inspired you? Well, I can tell you. You beat me to it, sir. You were clearing your throat before I could say your Sarah? name. But I'm not even joking about that. Like when I saw Brooklyn, I worked with an actor that I worked with Sir from Brooklyn. He came to our set they were working on after that, saying I just worked with the most incredible actors, and that was one of the big reasons I wanted to jump into labor. But besides that, the heroes are like Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger and and uh, and Sir Sean, yeah. and I don't know, a lot of people that are here tonight, so I'm gonna try not to geek out too much. You, you kinda look like you could be like a young Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> what am I, that, I have nothing right? to say to that. Just saying Hollywood. I don't know. Hollywood. Say Hollywood. That. Hollywood. Hollywood. Take note. Uh, Keep my head. What were some of the words that you fought with? I'm just going to take him with me. Timmy is my prize. Um, <laughs> to Timmy, um, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the work that you've done in our film and in Call Me By Your Name and everything that you're going to do. He's brilliant and he's got a good head screwed on his shoulders and I'm very, very proud to know him. So thank you for this. Yeah, some sort of like blood. What? Oh shit! I get nosebleeds. Oh. Here. Thanks. Sorry. No, good. You know, little did he know. Nothing you're saying is making any sense. No, we're not virgins now. We deflowered each other. We have each other's flowers. Four. I just wanted it to be special. Why? You're gonna have. So much on special sex in your life. Sure, she's married by the end. Ow, Joe! You have to dance with me. I can't because I scorched my dress. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. I have an idea of how we can manage. Joe is a lost cause. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. It would be a disaster if we It wouldn't be a disaster. Okay? We'd be miserable. Joe, I'd be a perfect I saint. I let me stick with Timmy because, you know, even if it's just a platonic relationship, I think we can have a nice companionship together. You, you know what I mean? Like, we're very compatible as, as companions. And I don't know, and Harry's on the road a lot, and... 